Hi, in this video we're going to do some more context-free grammars and converting them to NPDAs. So let's get started. All right, let's just remember about an NPDA. An NPDA is for context-free languages. It is a seven tuple. It has states, a finite number of states. There's an alphabet, a stack alphabet. The transition function includes uh, lambda transitions because it's non-deterministic and it also can go to subsets of the because it's non-deterministic you can take a transition to more than one state with with an input symbol and you also have to take into consideration the stack alphabet or the whatever is on the stack or you can do different things to the stack you can push onto the stack you can pop off the stack you can ignore the stack or you can um, replace what's on the stack. So in this, uh, in these examples, we will be replacing what's on the stack. We didn't do that in the last one. Your initial state is Q0. You have your initial stack symbol, which the stack cannot become, be empty, and you have your set of final states. All right. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna construct NPDAs from Gryback normal form grammars. So Gryback normal form grammars are all productions must be in a certain form. And that form is on the left hand side, of course, because it's context free, it must have a single variable. But on the right hand side, it, it must have a single terminal. And that single terminal can be by itself or it can be followed by any number of variables. So like this, this is okay. Productions like this are okay, but productions like this are not okay. All right, so let's uh, let's get started. So here's an example. This one right here is not in Gryback normal form. We do have this one is fine, a single terminal symbol, and we do have a single terminal symbol here, but we also have extra term per terminal symbols there. So we need to first convert this uh, into the correct form. So we convert it. The first thing I do is uh, introduce a new variable so I can remove these two Bs. And now this is in the correct form and this is in the correct form. But two Bs is not in the correct form. So I need to introduce one more variable and now I have a grammar that is in the Gryback normal form. A single terminal symbol followed by any number of variables. All right, so now we're going to proceed to create an NPDA from this grammar. So to create an NPDA from this grammar, we need to have three states. We need our initial state, and then we have our Q1 state, which is where we test all of our production, where we do all of our transitions for all of our productions. So we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four transitions. And you're gonna, um, your stack alphabet is going to consist of your initial stack symbol followed by the variables in this grammar. So we have the variables, the alphabet of course is the terminal symbols. So the alphabet is A, B. All right, so let's, uh, let's get started on how we're going to build this grammar. I mean, this NPDA from this grammar. So when we encounter a, just a, uh, if you have a production that just has a sim, one single terminal symbol, that's going to be a pop. If you have a production that has um, a terminal symbol followed by any uh, variables, that's going to be a replace. So the way you're going to read this is, this is the, the uh, symbol you're going to be reading from your string. This is what's going to be on the top of the uh, stack. And then based on this production, you're going to remove that from the top of the stack and replace it with this. On this production, this is going to be the, in, the symbol in my string. And this is the top of the stack, so I'm going to pop that off the top of the stack. Again, when I have a B here and this is on the top of my stack, then I'm going to replace this A with a B. And on this one right here, if I encounter the letter B and the B is on the top of my stack, I'm going to pop that B off. 
So now let's get started with the animation. We start with Q0, that's our initial state. So we need to get started. And when you start out, you have your stack here. So I start out with my Z on the, is on the top of the stack. So I need to push my S onto the stack to get started. So I'm going to transition over to the um, Q1 state and I'm going to push S onto the stack. Oh, here's my alphabet. So this right here, I'm in Q0. I take the lambda transition, I get started, and I push my first uh, uh, my first variable, which is also the first uh, stack alphabet symbol, onto the stack. So I'm going to take that transition, and then I'm going to push the S onto the stack. And now I, once I'm in Q1, I'm going to have all of the other four transitions, which are the four productions that I just explained. So the first one we will look at, I am in Q1. I encounter the symbol A. There's an S on the top of the stack. What am I going to do? I'm going to remove the S from the top of the stack and replace it with S A. That's this transition. That's this uh, transition right here. Also this production. All right, the next product, the next transition function, it's A on the top. A is the symbol in my alphabet. There's an S on the top of my stack. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pop that S off. Now let's take a look at my next tr transition. I'm still in Q1. My symbol of my alphabet is B. There's an A on the top of the stack. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take that A off and I'm going to replace it with a B. Okay, that's this transition. And then my last transition is there's a B is my uh, letter in my string. There's a B at the top of the stack. So I'm going to pop that off. If you notice, there's no replacing here. I replace, if this is the top of the stack, I would replace it here. If this is the top of the stack, I would replace this one. If this is the top of the stack, for this one, I'm gonna pop. Then if I, uh, after I've run through the whole string and done all my replace it, I push my start to my start symbol and then I do all these replacing and popping. If at the end of running my string through, if I, I am left with my start symbol, I will do this transition here and it will be um, into an accept, it will be an accepting string. All right, so let's try some strings and run through it with uh, some strings and a stack. So we have our stack here with our start symbol. And let's start first with the string A, A, B, B. All right, so I start out the first, uh, my first transition, I'm in Q0, I need to push S onto, oops, that's very ugly. I need to push S onto the stack. So now the first uh, character I'm encountering is A. So I'm going to take this trace transition right here that I have the letter A. There's an S at the top of the stack. So if I get the letter A and there's an S at the top of the stack, I can do one of two things. I can pop that S off, but it's non-deterministic. So I can um, also, I can replace that S with SA right here. So that's the transition I'm going to take. So I'm going to consume the letter A and I'm going to replace that with S A. Now I have another letter A. And so now with this one, I'm going to take this transition right here and I'm going to pop, I'm, I have the letter A and I have um, S at the top of the stack. So I'm going to pop that S off. Now I have a B. If I have a B, if I have a letter B, okay, let me just uh, tell you, of course, I, uh, I could have done the other way. 
So this is non-deterministic, so keep in mind, if my string is A, A, B, B, I could start out, I, pu I push the S onto my stack, and then I could start out, I read the A, and then I pop the S off. The problem with that is, I'm st I, you could say, oh, you're stuck, and your um, string is not accepting, but because of non-determinism, I have to try all options that I could take with that symbol. So if that leaves me nowhere, I have to check, oh, is there another option? Yes, there is. So I consume the letter A, there's an S on the stack, I consume the letter A, and I change that to an S A. And I could also consume this A and change it to an S A, but then again, I'm going to end up in a place where I have to backtrack and realize that I needed to use this transition instead, the one in which I pop. So I'm not gonna, so I'm gonna take this A and I'm gonna pop the S off. Now I have a B and there's an A at the top of my stack. So I have the letter B, there's an A at the top of the stack. So I only have one option if I have a letter B and there's an A at the top of the stack and that is to take that A off and replace it with a B. And now I have a B and there's a B at the pop at the top of my stack. And the only I only have one option, that's this one right here. If I have a B and there's a B at the top, and that is to pop that B off. And now I can see that this is an accepting, the string is accepting in this language. All right, so let's try one more string. Let's try one more, A, A, B, 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 A, A, B, B, B. All right, so let's try this one. So I'm going to push my S onto the stack. Now I'm going to consume this A, where I'm going to replace this with an S, A. I'm gonna consume this A, so I'll pop that off. Now I have this B, and there's an A on the top of the stack. So what am I going to do? I'm going to consume the B and replace this A with a B. Now I have a B and there's a B on the top. I only have one transition for that, that's pop it. So I pop that B off. I still have one more symbol left in my string. So there is no option for that's been defined. So you know that that would be a trap if there's a B if I encounter the letter B and there is only the, um, the starting stack symbol on my stack, then you know that that's not going to be accepting and that is a string that is not accepting in this language. All right, so here is another example. This one is already in Gryback normal form, so we can see here our transitions, our, our um, our, we're going to use the same three states, our initial state, then we have our one where we do the testing, and then we have our accepting state. And our stack alphabet will consist of our initial stack symbol plus the variables. These are our variables. And you can already look at these uh, productions and you can see that this one will be a replace, this will be a replace, a replace, a pop, a pop, and a pop. So we're going to have six transitions defined three that will be replace and three that will be pop. And then we have one, our initial. So we start in our initial. We got to push our S onto the stack. So we can get started. Then we just define the rest of the transitions. So when we encounter an A and there's an S at the top of the stack, we will replace that S with an A. When we encounter an A and there's an A on top of the stack, we will replace that A with ABC. When we encounter a B and there's an A on top of the stack, we will replace that A with a B. When we encounter an A and there's an A on top of the stack, we will pop. And then the other transitions, when we encounter a B in our string and there's a B on top of the stack, we will pop. And when we encounter a C in our string and there's a C on top of the stack, 
we will pop. And then after we ran through all of this, if we end up with our stack with the starting, our stack ends up like this and we are done with our string, then we can um, take the uh, transition over to the uh, final state. So in this case, we don't have any, we have, uh, we shouldn't have run into any problems where we have to make a choice because they are, this is an A with an S on the top, an A with an A on the top, a B with an A on the top, an A with an A on the top. Yes, so there's only this one right here and this one right here where we have to be sure to try both choices. And, um, <clears throat> and other than that, all of the rest of them, you only have one choice when you uh, encounter that symbol and that stack symbol. All right. And then of course, uh, so let's, all right. So now let's try some strings and see if they are accepting. All right, we have our starting stack symbol. So let's first try the string A, B, B. All right, so the first thing we need to do is we need to push our S onto the stack and then we will get our first letter A. So we have a transition with A and S is at the top or of the stack. So what do you do? You replace, you consume that A and you replace the S with A. Now we have a letter B. We get to the letter B and there's an A at the top. So here we have this one right here. If you have the letter B and there's an A on top, you're going to replace that A with a B. Now we have the letter B. If you have the letter B and there's a B on top, what do you do? You pop off. So we're going to pop off that B and then you will see that we will then end in with our stack has only the start symbol. So we, th we can conclude that ABB is accepting. All right, let's try ABC. See if that's accepting. You start with your start symbol and our letter is A. So we're going to, we have the letter A and there's an S on top. So we're going to replace that with an A. Consume that A. Our next letter in our string is B. We have B with an A on top, so we're going to consume the B and replace that A with a B. And now we have the letter C and we have a B on top of our stack and we do not have a transition defined for a, for a, B, for a C with a B on top of the stack. So we can conclude that this string is not in the language. All right, let's try another string. Let's try A, 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 B, C. A, 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 B, C. All right, we put our start symbol. We have an A and we have S on top. So we will consume that A and change it to an A. So now we, we know that we, we, um, we're not gonna end here. So we're not going to take this transition right here or this the transition where we pop the A off. So we're going to have to try this one right here. So we're going to consume our next A and then we're going to replace the A with A, B, C. Now we have another A here. So we have an A with an A on top. So we have options here. If we have an A and there's an A on top, we can pop the A off or we can or we can replace the A um, with ABC. So now we're going to consume this A and we're going to pop that A off. Then we have a B with a B on top. So we're going to pop that B off. And then we have a C with a C on top. So we're going to pop that C off. So we can uh, see that A, 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 B, C is a string in our language. And we can test this by doing the productions and see if we can run these productions and produce that string.